When the interstellar object 3I Atlas reached its closest approach to the Sun, astronomers expected one last ordinary flare of light before it faded into darkness. What they saw instead was something they hadn't planned for, a sudden shift in color, a burst of blue that didn't match any previous model of its behavior. For a few hours, telescopes around Earth and in space recorded a subtle but measurable increase in blue wavelength brightness. In scientific terms, it was a spectral anomaly, not a supernatural one. Yet the images were striking enough to capture public attention. The tenth anomaly, as it came to be called, became the subject of endless speculation online. But for scientists, it represented something far more interesting. A glimpse into the physics of a fragment from another star system pushed to its limits by our Sun. To understand what happened, we have to go back to the start of the observation campaign. Since its discovery in early 2024 by the Atlas Survey in Hawaii, 3I Atlas had already rewritten parts of astronomy. It was only the third confirmed interstellar visitor after Amuamua and Borisov, and it carried a chemical signature unlike either of them. Instead of water and frozen carbon monoxide, it was rich in carbon dioxide and nickel gas, with almost no iron a clue that it had once orbited much closer to a hotter star before being flung into interstellar space. When it entered our solar system, telescopes across Earth and in space began tracking it continuously. Its brightness fluctuated unpredictably. Its jets of gas erupted from odd locations. It even produced an anti-tail, a dust feature that seemed to point toward the sun rather than away from it. Each of these behaviors became an anomaly, numbered in the order they were discovered. By the time the object approached perihelion in October 2025, scientists had cataloged nine. Then came number 10. At first, the alert came from the SOHO spacecraft, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory. SOHO's coronagraphs, which blocked the sun's glare to study its surroundings, captured a brief enhancement in blue light where 3 I Atlas should have been. Within minutes, instruments on Stereo A and the Parker Solar Probe recorded similar signatures, confirming that the change was real and not a processing error. The data reached ground control in near real time. Analysts immediately compared the readings with earlier baselines. Something about the dust and gas around the object had changed. Its reflective properties were different. The object had, in effect, changed color. Online commentators quickly declared it proof of something unnatural. Blue light hotter than the sun, some wrote. But the reality, though less sensational, is far more fascinating. Color in astronomy is not a simple thermometer. Blue doesn't necessarily mean hotter. It means that more light is being scattered or emitted at shorter wavelengths, and there are several ways that can happen naturally. The first possibility involves Rayleigh scattering, the same process that makes Earth's sky blue. When sunlight hits tiny dust grains, shorter wavelengths scatter more efficiently. If 3I Atlas had released an unusually fine spray of dust, smaller than a micron across, that dust would scatter blue light toward the observers while letting longer wavelengths pass through. The result? A transient blue glow, even though the object's actual temperature hadn't changed dramatically. Another explanation points to gas excitation. As 3I Atlas neared the sun, ultraviolet radiation flooded its coma energizing molecules like carbon monoxide and cyanide. When those molecules returned to their lower energy states, they emitted photons in the blue and violet part of the spectrum. It's a common process in comets, but rarely at the intensity seen here. For an interstellar body with an unfamiliar chemistry, the effect could easily appear stronger. A third similar factor was geometry. During perihelion, the viewing angle between Earth the Sun and 3I Atlas shifted rapidly. 
some telescopes caught it at a moment when sunlight reflected almost directly off its gas plume, a phenomenon called forward scattering. This can increase apparent brightness by orders of magnitude, making colors look purer and more saturated than usual. When the raw images were finally calibrated, the color spike looked less mysterious. The blue excess was confined to a narrow band around 450 nanometers and lasted only a few hours. It wasn't evidence of new physics or alien engineering. It was a perfect storm of dust size, solar heating, and perspective. Still, the anomaly was valuable. It revealed how rapidly an interstellar object can change under solar stress. The same event that produced the blue flare also caused a measurable increase in nickel vapor emission, confirming that the heat had penetrated deeper than before. This supports the theory that 3I Atlas's core contains metal-bearing minerals that sublimate when exposed to sunlight, minerals unlike anything found in ordinary comets. As the object moved away from the sun, its color returned to normal and its brightness dropped by nearly half within days. Instruments aboard the James Webb Telescope followed up in infrared and found no sign of sustained heating. The event was over, but for researchers, the data left behind a wealth of information about how interstellar bodies respond to extreme conditions. The public, meanwhile, continued to speculate. Why blue became a question that filled message boards and news sites. The short answer, because light behaves strangely when it meets new material. In the vacuum of space, a dust grain a thousandth the width of a hair can turn physics into art. The so-called 10th anomaly also reminded scientists of a crucial lesson. The more precisely we measure, the more apparent anomalies we find. Every telescope operates under limits of resolution, calibration, and timing. When data are pushed to those limits, unexpected variations appear, not because the universe is breaking its own rules, but because we're finally seeing its complexity in full detail. Take the brightness oscillations that first drew attention to 3i Atlas. For months, they seemed chaotic, almost deliberate. But when researchers combined light curve data from 27 observatories, a pattern emerged, a rotation period of roughly 12 hours, modulated by jets erupting from different latitudes. Each time a new jet fired, the spin shifted slightly, changing how sunlight reflected toward Earth. What looked at first like coded flashes turned out to be physics in motion. The same principle applies to the blue flare. It wasn't a message. It was material responding to sunlight in ways we'd never seen before. Dr. Rafael Torres of the European Space Agency described it succinctly. Every time we call something an anomaly, we're admitting that our models need updating. That's not frightening. It's the whole point of science. In the months following the event, teams around the world compared 3i Atlas's behavior with other comets observed near the Sun. They found that several small bodies, including Comet C 2015-D1, SOHO, and Comet Lovejoy, had exhibited similar short-lived blue brightening during their own close passes. The difference was that none of those comets were interstellar. Their compositions were already well understood. For 3i Atlas, every observation expands the boundary of the known. The tenth anomaly, then, is not a warning, but a window. It tells us that interstellar matter is dynamic, responsive, and diverse. It confirms that these objects are not inert rocks drifting through eternity, they're active worlds in miniature, still alive with the chemistry of their birthplaces. At the same time, it challenges our instruments. SOHO and STEREO A were never designed to study interstellar comets. They're solar probes. The fact that they captured usable data at all is a testament to the ingenuity of mission engineers and the adaptability of scientific tools. Even a half-second exposure, when properly analyzed, can reveal the structure of dust, gas, and light in motion. By late November 2025, 3i Atlas had moved beyond Mercury's orbit, its activity dwindling. Webb continued to monitor it for residual heat signatures, while the Verisi Rubin Observatory prepared to search for its outbound track. The object was growing fainter each night, but its scientific impact was just beginning. 
every new model of interstellar formation will now include data from that blue flare. As the excitement faded, some researchers reflected on what these anomalies really represent. There were 10 of them in total, from the first discovery of its hyperbolic orbit to the final blue shift. Together, they tell a consistent story. Interstellar bodies are chemically and physically diverse, but are governed by the same laws as everything else. Each surprise is a reminder of how limited our experience has been. Until recently, we'd only ever studied comets born under one star, our own. 3i Atlas changed that. It gave scientists a first-hand look at materials forged in another stellar furnace. It showed that metals like nickel can exist in gas form far from their point of origin. It revealed how solar radiation can sculpt tails that seem to point in impossible directions. And it demonstrated that color, perhaps the simplest measurement in astronomy, can unlock secrets about composition and temperature that no probe could gather directly. The story isn't over. Astronomers expect that within the next decade, wide-field surveys will detect dozens more interstellar visitors. Some will be rocky, others icy, some perhaps almost metallic. Each will carry traces of its home system, each will behave differently in sunlight, and each will appear to break our rules until we rewrite them. So what, finally, was the scariest part of Anomaly 10? From a scientific standpoint, it wasn't danger, it was discovery. The fear came only from misunderstanding. The real awe lies in realizing how much we still have to learn about the ordinary physics of extraordinary worlds. When the raw data were cleaned and the color curve plotted, the blue flare of 3i Atlas fit perfectly within the known principles of light scattering. Nothing violated nature's laws, yet the event still felt momentous because it proved that those laws are richer than we'd imagined. In a universe that often seems quiet and predictable, an unexpected hue can remind us that the cosmos is alive with nuance. Every wavelength tells the story of dust and starlight, of molecules shaken by heat, of ancient materials awakening under a new sun. As 3i Atlas recedes into interstellar space, it carries with it the final traces of that blue dust, a brief fingerprint of its encounter with our star. It will fade, fragment, and vanish into darkness. But its data will remain, archived across thousands of hard drives on Earth and orbiting observatories. One day, another interstellar traveler will appear, and the lessons learned from this one will guide how we study it. We'll remember that the scariest discoveries are rarely threats. They're revelations of how vast and intricate reality can be. In the end, 3i Atlas didn't defy the sun, it reflected it, scattering its light into colors we'd never quite seen before, teaching us once again that even at the edge of certainty, science shines brightest.